Mariners of Suburb of Raleigh with uh, Sensei Minobo Reiki, who's visiting uh, our good friends uh, Sensei Ed Kraft and Henry Norris. Uh, welcome to Raleigh. What brings you to town? Thank you. I came for an uh, annual visit for the, our affiliated dojo and they're giving the same uh, meeting their students and instructors make sure keep that standard technical standard as uh, very correct that they're doing the same you know, curriculum how are these guys doing they're doing pretty good they are very excellent very very excellent students and the instructor the board excellent i'm very uh, pleased that they are uh, student fostering students group it's growing very fast and very clean nice facilities and we like that standard they uh, keep up can you tell us a little bit about the JKO organization Japan Karate organization has established since 1972 uh, San Diego based dojo now we have uh, eight different states in the United States. We have uh, over 20 countries overseas, especially South American to uh, Europe. And uh, your friend, uh, Dr. Martin Turin, is my European uh, representative of JKO. He's the chairman of the Slovakian Karate Federation. Uh, the Slovakian uh, members, they've had some pretty good results karate wise uh, th There's a heavy influence. From you with uh, Slovakia and Italy, I believe. Italy, Romania, uh, Czech Republic, they are very strong. And uh, the girl who won the WKF at Finland is, you know, that from Cynthia Koryakomo from uh, Malaysia's uh, 14th WKF championship. Uh, Italian team took second place, following Japanese for individual and the female team cutter. I had a 10-year contract with the uh, Federation of Italian uh, Karate and went to female uh, cutter group. So that was the result of our eighth, uh, eighth year then start winning uh, European Championship to uh, WKF and uh, finally they won the second prize in silver both individual Chinchia and uh, Korea Commons and uh, other uh, team cutters. And from that on, then the female of uh, Italian, you know, uh, blonde hair girl, uh, Solaire? Solero. I'm sorry. Oh, Solero? So yeah, Solero. Oh, she's very beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> also, she took a lot of uh, silver here. I have a lot of photos I'm, of her. <laughs> I'm sure I did. <laughs> To European, to the uh, you know, Slovakian. She's a beautiful unshu. Right, and this time when uh, first time they, my, I told those cutters they this girl from Italy finally took the gold, and you know, to, this a type of unshu. I think they had a little bit uh, older, like a jump was in it, but it it is a cutter. Though I worked with them many many. Places uh, many many years. So you've Italy. you've really traveled a lot to spread karate, and uh, not only uh, do you travel to spread karate, but you also uh, go to learn uh, on your own. You have a big trip coming up in uh, Japan. Oh yes, yes. Can you tell us about you travel a little bit, and then maybe your personal training. Yes, uh, travel all the about. Karate has go back to Europe, but they had the approach to me from Italian, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Carlo Henke was still in the judge, uh, in the referee course and uh, uh, technical chairman of a national uh, Italian federation was Askeri, approached me to teach uh, so-called Shurite Kata because uh, they have very strong Shotokan group from uh, Mr. Shirai's group. Mm -hmm. So they also teach a different style. Then they are the one or two uh, Shitoryu practitioners, but they are not helping any federation, so they asked me to be there to teach. So we, I went to uh, Italy and then taught about 300 black belt instructors. Then they had a team, selected a team group, 
and to separate only for the team competitions. And that is a fruitful uh, success with the Askeriza, Mr. Askeriza method. Then become uh, now the world champion. I'm sure they are really happy with it. <laughs> Okay, now uh, and ne next week you're making a trip? Right, next week, uh, this is my, very, my personal uh, learning experience I have been continuing. Uh, again, I'm very pleased to uh, the kind of chance that we met and Mr. Iwata. Uh, Sensei Iwata is the last person still active and uh, perform and also hold uh, seminars, week-long seminars, twice a year in uh, Shikoku, Japan. And from, for instance, for this trip, uh, 12 of us from the United States go over the for week-long training from uh, 9 in the morning to 9 at night. We actually had to wake up 6.30 in the morning because uh, Announcement goes up. You have to get up and tra tra training, and uh, ten thirty the light goes out, so you have to go sleep. It's just uh, like you know, I feel like going to uh, some training camp. For for you, the Iaido uh, is a good personal training, but it also has the roots for most of the Budo uh, artists yeah. that we all practice. Uh, can you speak a little? I think that yeah, Iaido and the soul of the is Japanese martial arts the core basic uh, curriculum ideology of you know karate, kendo, judo, aikido, everything is from uh, for instance is commonly used in a karate dojo, sen no sen, go no sen, uh, metsuke, uh, hala, tanden, keys, uh, mai, uh, kurai is where you, you take your position Kamae, when to attack, when not to attack, how to shift the bodies, and all this from Kendo's. Uh, if you go back, it's Kendo's in the literature back in the 14th uh, centuries, then written on a certain curriculum in a certain style. Whereas the karate don't have no literature in period till very recent. Probably you can find uh, any document in karate that's less than 100 years. It's it's much more shorter history than the Olympic Games itself. So, astonishingly, uh, karate is so ambiguous that a uh, curriculum we have to follow, whereas uh, kendo, like uh, so-called real EI, has go back in hundreds of centuries. So, it is uh, our homeland culture preserve preservation for training of Iaido and uh, Mr. Iwata is 95 years old today but he still practice and he's the only last real grandmaster of the Iai and he's a pinnacle of the Z grandmaster of the masters. When, when we think of traditions, uh, recently uh, I saw you, we visit, visited together and purchased New York, you were at the Shihan Kai. Right. You actually performed, I believe, the Kata Bushu. Right. And uh, a number of other Japanese masters gave performances. And when we spoke earlier about tradition, that comes to mind. Um, you have kind of a task as a senior instructor to hold on to these traditions and carry them out and pass them on. And uh, Do you have any ideas on what? <laughs> what we need to do here because things in some in many cases are kind of slipping away. I think it, it's a, some of them uh, competition is a part of karate those entire pictures and karate is just part of it and the competition is just part of the whole idea of karate though. Some people practice karate for instance or life uh, lifelong just practice for self-defense of the bean dojo uh, learning etiquette to uh, self-discipline and karate may be their way of uh, practice moving body or, or self-defense aspect or preservation of the art itself. But it tended to become, I think especially uh, many people look at it only for competition result. So in a way the competition result is uh, prosecuting the art part because they persuade of the medal winning.
counts mirror. So if uh, mirror winning is caused by the judges or referees, even inferior judges select the winner, then he will be the winner. So if the time goes by, those things are changing as the judges, what the judge likes to see. So it's original idea of karate or movement may not uh, really educate to the following generations. So preservation may be the key, but as long as you stay in persuading or per metals count, then your technique changes because all the, uh, for instance, this contestant did this and won the gold, I want to follow that. Instead of following go back to the original way of basic and the curric correct the curriculum, they learn from established technique. Or they do this because some judges give a higher score to do this, now I'm going to jump higher, a little bit better, and I want to do this. And another aspect is uh, Olympic committees, what says really influencing the result of and the result of establishing new rules. And even the, they have traditional idea, but because the Olympic Committee uh, member like to see in the karate this, we're gonna now change it. And so it's whole thing is just changing, whatever. But uh, some things about those champions has been forgotten. They win that year. About certain period, about five, six years, they, every, everybody changes. Today the champion is gone, the next champion is coming up. And, but the karate itself is moving in certain directions. And all the champions have been forgotten because a new champion is coming up. But I think we have to think, uh, preserve what is the real karate was about, or the original idea, and how karate could be very wonderful art persuade or preserve. Earlier this year, in the summer, um, we had a chance to visit, actually spent uh, right. quite some time together at the USA National Championship right. in West Virginia. It was a pretty special event when you think about how many uh, long-time leaders were in attendance that we didn't see for quite some time. It was good to see yourself, uh, Sensei uh, Anderson, Sensei Joe Mirza. Uh, it was a good experience in bringing people together uh, are you looking to be more active again? And I, I should thank for the Mr. Uh, Roger Jarrett that he invited me to his tournament, the National uh, NKF Championship. I haven't seen uh, since uh, former president of the jury of theory was uh, presiding, you know. So after he left, I, uh, he gave me an invitation to be there. So. I went, uh, again, I see new faces, old faces, many. You uh, USA NKF was a new type of organization. I felt, the person I felt, it did, did not, what I saw before was a little more energetic, energetic group of people there. Uh, when uh, Mr. Anderson was in, uh, Chairman, that we had more of, I think, different people was participating. This time I went to a kind of nice, good group, but not really energized. They may need to be more charged up or something. <laughs> well, they're certainly going through some changes now. As a matter yeah. of fact, uh, I understand you have an article here in the Gekkan Karate Do. This is Gekkan Karate Do, yeah, it's uh, October issue in this year, and uh, Mr. Nakamura. Right. Mr. Nakamura asked me to uh, send an article about NKF, so uh, I sent him an article and the pictures that from you, you <laughs> took it, we put it into an article about uh, US NKF the fall and, you know, many of uh, unnecessary funding and the use of funding is uh, missing. So this type of uh, articles in it. Next one is uh, asking uh, former president his uh, biography. 
I have interviewed uh, a couple of key people, to, and uh, I hope I can write a very uh, objective uh, view of uh, uh, Mr. Teriyaki. Hmm. Well, uh, moving forward you, from your trip to Japan, it would be nice if you give us um, an article about the uh, training with the experts. And the Please, I, I think, right, uh, so many, again, uh, Iaido in the United States is, I don't know what their background is, again, just like a, uh, karate has so many different styles, crane one to another, as you were talking about, you know, one Shotokan style, but there are so many Shotokan style now here, and you don't know which one to what. Mm -hmm. And they claim stories, so many stories, and a new <coughs> one pops up. Same thing is happening in uh, EI, and you don't know what is a uh, correct uh, performance to another. <laughs> it's really hard. But we are following. I have no interest in uh, giving certification. Mm -hmm to my student, we just go practice, and we like to preserve what uh, Han Shiwata offers. You, you have a tournament coming up? Uh, yes. Tell us about that. Ja January uh, 27th, 2008, we uh, rented first time San Diego Convention Center, very expensive, beautiful facilities. And this is my 35th annual event. And Fortunately, I really feel, I mean, time has gone so fast, but I can't believe uh, from first year. First year that we had uh, Mr. Teru Hayashi came from Japan, and the Kunio Murakami, I don't know, do you know him? Kunio Murakami was uh, 1975 Long Beach uh, WKO, that time we called Uko, mm -hmm. not WKF like today. Uko is a world champion he took from Japan. And the Maitona was 1973. So two years before he was visiting the United States. So Mr. Murakami probably had the idea he was going to be selected uh, competing in, in the United States. So he was uh, visiting at the time as a special guest with these two people. And the Shou Kosugi, sure. Shou Kosugi the one won my tournament. That time he was still student and the participant or contestant, that was fun. Well, it's been great visiting with you here today, and I, I owe you an interview, and I hope that <laughs> I have a chance to update it, because we took some great photos. We'll um, try to get that out in the next issue or two, so. Thank um, you. As always, it's great visiting with you, and I look forward to hearing about your trip to uh, Thank you, Japan. Yeah, thank you. And we're gonna be in Japan. Uh, I should thank you for the Japan side for hosting us, and uh, we, if we, I hope we're gonna have a very good experience in Japan, so if anybody really like uh, to know what is the real karate is about, I can give you a, uh, Mr. Iwata had a book from Kendo Japan, and uh, two DVD in the uh, VHS of Musouji Kiren Eishin Ryu, I think it's one of comprehensive uh, video of the books, and in, unfortunately Japanese, but they can see it, they can practice. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.